And when our house was being built, they put a bug in the house, right, right to, to listen to us. Right. And uh, so one day we leave, we had shag carpets. Well, as my mother would walk out the door, she had the rake, you know, the old time yeah. rake, because the shag had to be going straight up. Couldn't be going one way or the other. That would drive her crazy. So she's, as she's walking out the door, she's got the rake. She rakes right to the, at the end, right? We open up the door. We come back in. We see footprints. That's how she knew somebody oh was in the God. house. And that's how we found the bug in the house. Oh, no way. Yeah. I thought you were, I thought Her you cleanliness were. led to yes. the discovery. She walked in the door and she said, who's in the house? Who is in the house? And that, no, my father no struck a chord and we started looking for the Isn't bug. And that's crazy. Right. I walk in redemption. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another sit down with Michael Francis. Hope everybody is doing well. All is very good. Very blessed on this end. And as always, my friends, I give all the praise, honor, glory, and thanksgiving to God for that, especially through this Christmas holiday season. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, hope you got all your shopping done, all your plans are made. Traveling is going to be rough. Be careful if you're traveling. I feel bad for all of you. Uh, they're saying that more travel is this year than the last couple of years. So be prepared for it. You're going to have some delays. You're going to wait. But hey, it's all in, uh, in good cheer, right? Um, today, uh, I got a special guest here. I should say three special guests, but before I get into that, I want to remind everybody, January 25th, the Beacon Theater in New York. Three guys from New York. Mike Tyson, he's the headliner. Myself and Chaz Palminteri will be at the Beacon Theater. Uh, very excited. Tickets are going very, very quickly. We do have a VIP arrangement. You're going to hear some things out of the three of us you've never heard before. Hope to see you then. Yes, we're going to sign books and we're going to take photographs and we're going to answer questions. So uh, be sure to get your tickets soon. I was in Australia. I did a tour over the summer, uh, Melbourne and Sydney, and we had a great time. Love Australia. Probably my fourth or fifth time that I was there. People are wonderful. And there's a pretty big Italian community there in all of Australia. A lot of Calabres, a lot of Calabres from my, uh, you know, former associates that are settled in there. Uh, but really, uh, a lot of nice people. And I get a call that this group called Sushi Mango. Now, not Sushi, S-U-S-H-I, but Sushi, S-O-O-S-H-I, wants to meet me. I looked them up on the YouTube. There are three Italian guys that do these great skits about Italian families. And uh, so I meet with them. We do a whole YouTube. They got a big platform together. They have a restaurant there. We went there one night, had a great time. So they happen to be here because they're going on a worldwide tour. And we're going to be sitting down today and talking to them. I know you're going to enjoy them. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. A little different than the mob stuff, but something I know you'll enjoy. So here are my guests today, Sushi Mango. All right, so I am in um, Melbourne and Sydney, and I get a phone call from somebody that says, hey, this group named Sushi Mango. And I said, what the heck is that, Sushi Mango? I said, we're going to eat some uh, Asian food or something? <laughs> They said, no, they want to meet you. They want to, you know, uh, they have a podcast and all of that. So I look it up and I said, wait a minute, three Italian guys, Sushi Mango? What's up with this? Anyway, we get to meet and the rest we're going to talk about tonight. It was probably, uh, you're probably the best guys I've met in all of Australia. Oh, I, know, God, that's right. Right. I mean Jeez, that. Well, it's not that yeah. many good guys in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> I think you might be lying. <laughs> no, 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 it's true. It's true. And I've been here many times, but, you know, I actually love the place. A lot of great people there. and We always get received well. But we had a great time, Thank really you. great did. time. Did the podcast, and now you're on tour here, United States, London, Canada, all over the yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, we, we had a great time. Thank you, first of all, for coming on to, to our podcast. Pleasure. We were very excited. Uh, and secondly, thank you for having us here today. It's, uh, hey. man... You know, uh, with the uh, Melbourne crew. I wouldn't let you go. Yeah. <laughs> I, was saying on the, I was saying on the way here, because we watch your, we watch your stuff, we're fans, big fans... This is a podcast that I never envisioned being on just because we're comedians and it's a different type of thing. It's like landing here. It's a big thing for us. So thank you very much. Yeah. Well, but we had a great hey, time together. You know? We had a really good time. And, you know, just watching you guys, because you have a big podcast too on YouTube, and watching you guys. And listen, I love anything that's Italian. I got to tell you this. To me, the greatest comedians are those that make fun of their own family yeah. stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you guys, Sebastian Maniscalco, even when, uh, you know, just everybody that makes fun of their family in a nice way, a light yeah. way, is, is always wonderful to me. And you guys are great. Thank you. Great. Well, we, you, we, know, you don't look anything like this when you're doing your thing, no. that's for sure. Yeah, we dress up... Uh... 
yeah, we dress up like our um, our fathers and forefathers, and but uh, and even in some dresses. But uh, yeah, you know. Uh, so how, how, what, what gave you this idea? How did you get started on that? Well, um, well he, he, one day Joe was messing around with the camera and uh, did a... What, you tell but, me? but had you done something before? What, what, were you an actor? Uh, no, no, we've never been... We've always been clowns in our own right, you know? I was always a class clown, I always liked the attention. Joe was uh, in entertainment, he was a singer and uh, in a, wedding, a wedding singer, but... We were just uh, in the beginning. We were just stuffing around. He did a he did a video about a thank you wave, you know. It was a it was a, mm. a video. It was just the pulling out of a car, and we you know we you know, we'd pull over, and I pulled over for someone. They just drove past, and I'm like, just, just give me a finger, give me a nod, give me something, right. yeah. some acknowledgement. And I just put that on on uh, Facebook at the time, which is going back eight nine years ago, and couple of videos, a bit of movement here, a bit of movement there. Next thing you know, I was showing Carlo some videos, and he's like, edit this and edit that and move that there and push this here. And then I said, get in the car with me and let's do a video together. And one night, we got together, put the camera on the dashboard, press record, and as they say, the rest is history. You know, um, there we, we got uh, Andrew involved, who's an old Bayzano of ours. Family friend for many years. Now let me ask you, Sicilian, Nabladan, Galabres, all, all, all Sicilians. We're all from right, we're well, mountain boys. Yeah. Well, well, my, my, well, dad, well yeah. my dad is from Reggio Catania, Provincia Catania, and uh, the uh, Mount Etna. You know where Mount Etna is? Sure. Right? Yeah. Just below it. So which is, okay. a, mount, is, a, is a mountain. And my mum, our mum, is from Stromboli, which is a volcano, another mountain. So I just tell people we're mountain boys. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you this. I'm not really Don, but I'm going to make an exception for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> we've, we've found in America that there's, that there is that, that faction. There's that rivalry. Thing, you know? Yeah, it's oh, the yeah. Valdans and Sicilians. And Absolutely. The, I think we're, the, the Calabres are outnumbered here. 100%. I think, I think hands down, by the way, the Napoletana dialect yeah. is the sweetest oh. and the nicest of all. I agree yeah, with that. Because we're in the room. I agree with that. Well, let me, let me yeah. tell you something. There is, in my former life, you know, Cousin Austria, there is a rivalry oh, between right. Nobly Dons and Sicilian. Right. Yeah. Okay, right. And it's, and I don't mean, you know, physical rivalry, so, but you can tell there's not yeah, a lot of love lost. I noticed yeah. that a lot of the Sicilians are all very close to Cata uh, Palermo. Yes. So there was heaps of people that we've met that were, where you from? Oh, Provinci Palermo. So... Where we've got a lot of, uh, there's not many people from Palermo in Australia, but we have a big Calabrian. Yeah, Calabrese. Yeah, yeah. Big Calabrese. Yeah. And the Napolitana, not so much at home. Here, here you we know, found. The Abruzzes and Napolitana at home would probably be pretty much Pretty on much the same. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you know, the last time, uh, not this time I came, but the time before, it took me a while to get a visa. They didn't want to approve it. What's that? Okay. Yeah, my past well, record, yeah. and all that stuff. You know, they gave me a hard. They always give me a hard time. Yeah. I eventually get in, but they give me a hard time. So uh, it took a couple of months. I got my visa the night before I was supposed to get on the plane. Jeez. Night before, just made it. So I get there, and when I get we're ready to do a couple of shows, and I get a uh, a message from one of the mob guys there, and he says, "Michael, I have a restaurant. I want you to come and visit me. We're gonna have a dinner and all that." I say, "Hey, bro." It took me a long time to get in. <laughs> All I got to do is let him have a picture with me and you together, and they'll be carting me right out. I said, come to the show. But it was... We probably know the guy you were talking yeah, to. Actually. Yes, I'm sure you do. But uh, it was nice of him to invite me. Though. Absolutely. We, we never connected, but yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, big Galabrese. Uh, yeah, there's a guy. very big guy. Was that, well, did that spill over into the families, like the different families? Were, were some Napolitana, some Sicilian? Yeah. yeah? It, it, here in America, it's Napolitana and Sicilian, mostly. Yeah, yeah almost 100% those two. Yeah, but yeah, like your, I said... Your it, family, was, it, was there that? Yeah, we had both. Both? Yeah. yeah. And uh, like I said, it's not a rivalry where yeah. people are mad at each no, other, but there's always rivalry. yeah friendly rivalry, yeah, yeah, yeah. and sometimes not too friendly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it all depends. Sure. But uh, but it was good. You're you got come, sorry, you're coming back to Australia soon, aren't you? Uh, not soon, but next year. Yeah, they're already trying to work out another tour. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so good. probably October next year. I like to come when it's summer. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. good. Not like us. We yeah. tour when it's winter, but it's <laughs> the second time we've uh, we've sort of done this tour. We came to Canada once. Uh, Montreal almost killed us. Yeah. It was that cold? So cold. Uh, but uh, again, we're coming in February, but uh, you know, it is what it is. 
Uh, it's not too bad yet. Yeah, yeah, well, no, in worse. February, bring your winter coats big time. Yeah, yeah. That would be cool. It was beautiful. You, yeah. you come and oh, yeah. it's spot on. I mean, if it gets into the 60s here, it's cold. Yeah, right. That's 60s. about it. Yeah, yes. it's cold. I've got short sleeves in, in the middle of December. I feel like a home. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. What's warm by you guys? Now, yeah, now it's my, warm. Now it's like it's my hot. friend was telling me the other day, I spoke to him, it was like 100 degrees. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. I don't know what the conversion is, but well, it yeah, sounds about right. Because we go, we go by... Uh, no, Celsius. 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 Yeah, Celsius. About 35 degrees. I'll tell you, the one thing I wouldn't do in Australia is go in the water. No, you're right. You're a cat. Well, in, in the ocean. Why is that? You know, we went to a place, I think it was in Sydney, and it was a um, an aquarium. Yeah. And man, I saw the biggest alligator or yeah. crocodile. <laughs> I don't know what it, it was bigger than this room. I thought it was a mirage. I thought they had like a magnifying glass on top of it. Listen, next I never time, see it. It was man, prehistoric. Next time you're in Melbourne, we'll, prehistoric. We'll, we will take you to the most beautiful beaches. And you and your wife and everyone can go in the water. Yeah. And you, just have wear, you just have to wear a shark suit. No, you yeah. don't tell them that. It's not only that. We went into, I think it was a Chinese restaurant. And you know where they have the tanks with the crabs? Oh, yeah, yeah. i never seen anything yeah, so big. Seen <laughs> it's like prehistoric age. Yeah. Everything is so big. We, uh, we were talking to a couple of uh, people from Brooklyn, and uh, they were like, oh, do you guys have kangaroos running around the streets over there? And we're like, no, he didn't, they didn't just ask us that, did they? You know, it's an old, old Well, you know, I, I just said, said, no, we don't have cars, we just hop around on the, on the kangaroos. We, we went to a winery in, uh, I don't remember, it was out in the country there, last trip. Yeah. And all along, I'm trying to find a kangaroo. This is yeah, the only thing I wanted to see. You have to go to a sanctuary or a zoo to see a crocodile, uh, a crocodile or a kangaroo. But everyone seems to think, in the States in particular, that if you come to Australia, everything's going to kill you, the spiders, the snakes. <laughs> Everybody thinks yeah, But yes. they, they, they're there, but they're nowhere near where we live. They're out in miles into the, into the scrub, yeah. into the bushland. So we do have big spiders, though, some... some Reasonable spiders. It's huge land. But everything is big there. Yeah. Everything is bigger than anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. Huge yeah. land. But Except for the servings of food. Yeah. The yeah. servings of food I've found here in the States is bigger. bigger. Abundanza. Yeah. Abundanza. Yeah. They were telling us. Well, when we ate at your restaurant, there were big servings. Yeah, well, we yeah. made sure. We, like it. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little 25% extra. I know that we've got a panino here. You get a sandwich and there's there's more meat than there is bread. You yeah. get a sandwich. Yes. Yes. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's, yeah, most places are like that. Yeah, but some of the places like we just came from Italy over the summer too, and their portions are small there. Yes, yeah. they don't eat like we eat here in no, America, they don't. which is good. Yeah, Absolutely. I think it's like you know the, the the portions right. Yeah, the bread to to salami sort of on point. Talking yeah, about food, we were sorry. What were you going to say? No, I was going to say in almost every meal there, they eat pasta. We yeah. did all the time, and everybody's thin. I know. We see any fat people in there? They walk. None. They walk. They walk everywhere. They walk everywhere. Right. Whereas here, we're well, no, in Australia. We get in to get a car to get the mailbox. Do you know what? You know what? I, heard? <laughs> I saw um, something about um, Sardinia. Sardinia yeah. has the the largest population of. Plus 100s. Centenarians. Centen in Sardinia, Centen yeah. In Sardinia yeah. and also in uh, a place in Japan. The reason why they they, uh, they have that is because they consistently, their whole lives, walk up and down the hills. So it's not like they're exercising, but they're just naturally yeah. exercising and eating all the right produce and, and, and living the right life, but just naturally. You know? Yeah, they're called Blue Spots. There's one in Athens. There's also one in the States, but I forget where I watched it. There's a Netflix program. In the one. States? There's one in the States. It's like a, a, an enclosed community. It yeah. might be one of the Amish communities. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. The Mormons. Yeah. You know what else, too? Because uh, there's no preservatives in their food. Everything is fresh. So, yeah, yeah. You go to an Italian restaurant, and they tell you on the menu if something's not fresh. If it's frozen, they'll let you know. But everything is fresh. Well, you can't have egg, if eggs in Italy can't be put in the refrigerator. So they, they put them out on the... Right. You know, you have That's to right. sell them in store. They never refrigerate because it becomes condensation inside the egg. They've got all these laws, no pesticides and like yeah. things that preserve yeah. the wheat, which makes you bloat. Mm -hmm. we, we get that in Australia. You guys get that here. You have a pizza and you... You feel bloated. Yes. They don't have that over They're there. the first country to ban um, fake meat. Fake meat, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that printed meat. Yeah. So they, they went yeah, I just, saw, I just saw that. Yeah, that Bill, Bill Gates. Stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, poor yeah, guy. Yours. Poor guy might <laughs> take a financial hit. Yeah. You can get it all here today. Yeah. Um, but you're talking about the food, though. 
the we we are not familiar with Bike City, Manigote. No. Really? Yes. Um, we don't have we Manigote. We had to learn about Bike City. Broccoli roll. You don't have that in Australia? Well, we, well, we, we do. Well, we, well do. we do, but we think it's a different... It's called something different. It's well, called... no, no, hang on. The Bake City, we were told, is pasta that's flattened, and then they put something in it, the cheese and the negotto. No, no, no. That... Roll it. No, that's the That's Manigote. That's, that's Manigot. That's, that's Manigot. Manigot, yeah. Manigot, we call cannelloni. Well, cannelloni, no, it's yeah. Not cannelloni yeah, similar. Tube yeah, that they it's, put it in. it's not, because yeah. the cannelloni's got, got square past and the Manigot's around yeah. the pancake. I don't understand still. I'm, thinking, <laughs> I'm pretending like I I'm know. I'm surprised, though. I didn't, and I didn't realize yeah, that so when we were there. Or, or the baked ziti, we just call it pasta forno. Okay. But uh, but yeah. it's baked with cheese and baked it's put in the oven. Yeah, 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 it's similar. And there's someone told us the pasta forno here, you guys do with uh, orecchietti? Not no, no, yeah. no, I think he was saying something else. He wasn't saying orecchietti. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. In Italy, you can't find a bad restaurant. Yeah. No. You, can, you know, and they were telling us if there's a big menu, then a lot of the food wouldn't be fresh. Don't eat there. Well, they'd be looking for the tourists, right? Yeah, but you know what? We ate in, uh, in Venice. And the food was great. When yeah. I went to a restaurant, the menu was huge, yeah. and the food was terrific. Well, we, we, we ate in, uh, in Rome at the Piazza Navona there, which is uh -huh. just people non-stop yes. all yes. day, every day. Food was still fantastic. Food was you know, yeah. The pasta, the pasta there is just... And you're right. I ate pasta, pizza, panino, in every day. Yeah. And towards the end, because we're used to... You know, being in Australia, like like you have here, you got Chinese there, Thai there, Indian there, a Lebanese there, a Turkish restaurant, an Italian restaurant, a Greek restaurant. When you're in Italy, Italian. That's it. Uh, <laughs> you got to you got pizza. That's it. That's we what didn't see anything else. You know, yeah. Yeah. Anything else. They're not going to. They're else. not going to take the Chinese food. They're no. not going to take the Thai food or anything like yeah. that. They're just. They're just not going to do it. It doesn't work. No. So let me ask you this. What, what gave the idea to spoof Italian families? I mean, well, the material had to be rich because yeah. you all grew up Italian. All, we all know what the... Uh... The way it started was we, we, when, when we first started this, like I mentioned before, we started doing these videos. And then we said we should do a video like uh, about our, our fathers, you know. And we called it Sh Shit Ethnic Dad Say. And... Uh, we it was like let's just get dressed up as our parents as our fathers and uncles and compadre and all these people that we've had in our lives forever and it's that subconsciously just stuck in the back of our heads anyway and um, let's put this video out and see what happens we did not think we were going to strike strip this nerve of nostalgia mm -hmm. and and everyone because every Italian or you know European person pretty much grew up in the same living room. Yes, you know, absolutely. So, and we've learned this now, you know, like we just thought, let's just have a bit of fun with it. Uh, I've got, I went and got some pajamas because I thought, you know, they wear pajamas. Carlo put on. I just took my dad's tracksuit jacket and flannel shirt. Um, and the tracksuit jacket was his friends that, yeah, that he just, left in his house. Well, the, story, <laughs> the story was, the story goes, I, I was, so after we did this video and it, it, it went wild, it got like 10 million views online or whatever, we kept playing these characters. And a couple videos down the track, my friend saw the video and he was like, hey, just want to let you know, he goes, that jacket that you're wearing, that's mine. I said, no, that's my dad's jacket. My dad's been wearing that jacket around the street. <laughs> he goes, no, I left it at your house about seven years ago. <laughs> I was like, oh. I was like, he goes, can I have it back? I said, no. you can't have it back now. <laughs> Part of the character, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna stay. When we started so, the character, when we, when we created the characters, I was going through a phase. I haven't always had a beard. I just <laughs> had it doing that at the time, and now these characters have become so big in Australia, at least that I, I can't get rid of the <laughs> beard. <I'm laughs> it. No, it's, it's, not, it's your identity now. So the, we just realised that we we did stumble up, up, up across this. You know, there was a comedy side of it, but there was a nostalgia that people were looking at it and going, oh my God, I remember when my dad said yes. that, or oh my God, I remember when my mum said that, or I remember when we, when we went and did this, and how my mum makes noise when I'm asleep in the morning on a Saturday or a Sunday after a big night, you know? And it was just, we've all gone through the same thing. And it's just amazing how these, these characters, these dads uh, and mums, and we also play Greek characters who own a fish and chip shop, you know? and. Um, how they resonate 
across, you know, 24 hours away here or to Canada yeah. or to England. You know? Well, you know, when you see it, it just strikes a chord and you start to think back. Like I was watching some of your videos and I'm, I'm thinking of my mother. My mother was a fanatic, right. I mean, a clean, cleanliness fanatic. Yeah. I'll tell you how bad. I'm sleeping, my, me and my brother, we had bunk beds. I was on the top, he was on the bottom. Three o'clock in the morning, my mother comes in the room with the vacuum. Oh my God. <laughs> Ma, what are you doing? Uh, quiet, three o'clock in the morning. Quiet, you're not kidding. Quiet, I know, shut sleep. up. Go to sleep, go to sleep, no body, right? That means she had to sleep in. Yes, <laughs> three o'clock in the morning, she would vacuum. She didn't care. Another thing, pet peeve, everything had to be clean all the time. All the time. We go to the refrigerator, the refrigerator has a thing. If you grab it and you leave your fingerprints, forget it. That's like a mortal sin. Crazy stuff like this. Let me tell you this, though. Funny thing. You know, my dad's under investigation all the time. And when our house was being built, they put a bug in the house, right, to listen to us. And so one day we leave, we had shag carpets. Well, as my mother would walk out the door, she had the rake. You know, the old time rake? Because the shag had to be going straight up. Couldn't be going one way or the other. That would drive her crazy. So she's, as she's walking out the door, she's got the rake. She rakes right to the, at the end, right? We open up the door. We come back in. We see footprints. That's how she knew somebody oh was in the God. house. And that's how we found the bug in the house. Oh, no way. Yeah. I thought you were, I thought Her you cleanliness were. led to yes. the discovery. Yeah, because you saw... I thought you were going to say she's cleaning so much, she found them. No, no, no. She walked in the door and she said, who's in the house? Who is in the house? And that, no, my father no struck a chord and we started looking for the Isn't bug. And that's crazy that, that a burglar gets, gets locked up for breaking into someone's house, but someone to put a wire in, no problem. Yeah, 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 that's no problem. We, we had a cleaner once. My mum used to do this to clean all the time. But the one time we had a cleaner... Well, we were, she got a bit older, so we said, we'll get you a cleaner. And, for, and you know. then we went over prior uh, to the cleaner coming out, and she was cleaning the house. And I said, what are you, what are you doing? Why are you cleaning the house? She goes, I've got to clean for the cleaner. <laughs> like, I don't want to be embarrassed by the cleaner coming in. It's all dirty. She goes, I can't show the cleaner that we have a dirty house. Yeah. Like, what, the, what are you talking about? So, My mother the same. We had beautiful couches and everything in the in the den where you watch TV. Nobody ever sat on. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty years later, they're like they're brand new. Yeah, absolutely. Brand new. All covered in plastic. The plastic, yeah. So when you get up, you know, yeah, you're stuck, stuck to the thing. That was my grandmother. That was my grandmother. Did, oh, they, did she ever have the, the plastic runners going from the front? Oh, door absolutely, all the way absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So that's the thing, though. So it's just amazing how so, we're so far away and we're in so different parts of the world. Yes. But it's identical. So they, they, wherever they went. They brought their culture and they got stuck in a little time capsule almost, you know. It's whereas true. the people over there, they kind of evolved a little bit to keep people in Italy. Absolutely. Whereas if they came in the 50s and 60s or whatever, they, they got stuck and um, they were the same wherever they went, whether it was UK, Canada, America. So yes. that's, that's, the, that's, that's the beauty about it's, it. It's right? kind of sweet, though, isn't it? The it is. People kind of really held on to oh, their yeah. simple values. You know, yeah, we absolutely. Make, we make fun, but we really we celebrate. Oh, right? we yes. make it's a celebration. Of it is a people. celebration. It is. It is. What, what's the what the flattery is? Best flattery. 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 Best with a bat. Yeah. <laughs> with whatever. Right. With whatever. Oh, Anything. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, like the, 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 oh, I never knew the back of a hand could be such a powerful Exactly. Well, my dad used to be smart and, you know, with a slipper, the top part of the slipper <laughs> is soft, soft, but the heel is not. It's not. Yeah, that's right. the lethal part. You know? so that's the part that they get you with. Well, I got to tell you, my mother was the... De- I always say, you know, my, my dad hopefully made me a little smart. My mother made me tough. Okay. She did not spare the rod. But when my dad was mad, okay, he didn't hit us. Look. He made us do one thing. Well, he gave us the look. You knew you were in trouble. But he'd make you walk by him, and then he gives you one on the back of the neck. Oh. That, would, that would knock you across the that, room because he was strong. My dad used to do this. He used to do this. Show you the top of his belt. I used to show you yeah. the top of his belt. And I'd be like, whatever I was going yes. about. <laughs> Yes. Oh, well, do you know what was Stop. the worst for me was if you did something at nine o'clock, you were home on school holidays, nine, nine thirty in the morning, you did something bad, and your mum says, 
wait till your dad gets home. He's going to kill you. That's right. You had eight hours of stress. Yeah. Now, for an eight-year-old, that's hard. <laughs> it's hard work. Mm. You know, one day uh, I played hooky from school. I think it was in the eighth grade. So we go to the beach. And we're having a great time. And I go to leave, and there's my father parked in his car. Oh. I said, how the heck did he know we were there, right? <laughs> he said, son, come on, get in the car, right? And all the way home, he's singing, he's got the radio on, like everything is fine. I'm saying, oh my gosh, this is going to be so bad. But he, he just gave the whole drama until I got home, right? And then I paid the price. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, to be fair, a lot of the time, there, there would be a couple of bashings, right? But after that, it was the look yeah. that reminded you of the bashing. Mm -hmm. So it was like there was a couple of touch-ups, and then it was like that, and then it was like, I don't want to get touched up again, so let's, yeah. let's just leave it. So. One time, I, um, Mum was trying to hit me with a spoon, just running around, <laughs> running around the dining, this little coffee table. And I, and, I, and I tried to get away from her, and I jumped onto the couch, onto the couch, and I, and I inadvertently with my foot, Flipped the coffee table, which landed on her foot, oh, 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 which made her insane. So I copped it from her, and then from Dad. <laughs> I, I got a double whammy that time. You know? Yeah, but you're right. It's it's so different now. Yeah, you know, it's like I now, think people need a little bit of a bashing nowadays. If if, if I'm, listen, it didn't hurt us. Sure. No, I mean, like I said, we are. no, and the, we, uh, we we grew up with more respect. These young people today, a lot of them don't have respect. You, you can't raise your hands. You know, if you're yeah. a parent. You want to spank your kid, you, you're in yeah, jeopardy you're here bit. in the States. Yeah. I don't know no, how it is in Australia. Same, same. We're following same. suit there. We're always uh, just a couple of beats behind America. But um, yeah, like even just with stuff that's going on, you know, wackiness and pronouns this and oh, this God. and that, the other. And it's just, it's just out of control. People identifying as a bottle of wine or a peanut or this, it's just... It's a, none of that would have happened back in the day. It's fair, it's fair, you know, it's just, you know. it's fair to say. No one condones violence, but this generation probably needs it a yeah, bit more yeah, than yeah. all the it's others. It's soft. Just a little bit. You know, just, just a little bit. You know? Yeah, somebody, somebody uh, I was watching something on television, somebody said, well, what if Mike Tyson decided to identify as a woman and go in a, and, and box? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I think, the person I said, think they'd put a stop to that. Right? Yeah, the yeah. person couldn't answer. Yeah. Well, that would never happen. Well, why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. why not? Yeah. I mean, that's how crazy things yeah. have gotten. It, it has. It's very different. And it just, but I also think that, I don't know, like it, the, the whole immigration thing, like when people moved here, because people have been coming to America since the early 1800s, uh, yeah. Italians. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? We so, had no idea, by the way. And, well, we, and we had no idea how bad the Italians were treated. Here, we the, oh, biggest, yeah. the biggest Absolutely. lynching Absolutely. in American history was in New Orleans. The yeah. 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 yeah, that was the first lynching of alleged Italian. They said they were mob related. I don't yeah. know, yeah. but yeah, it was a lynching. They couldn't get jobs. They were right. treated. Yeah. And that's what you know. When Mussolini, um, he turned on the Sicilian mob back then because they didn't treat him properly when he came into town. He wanted hero worship, and the guy said, "Yeah, I'm getting it." Well, he declared war on them. Wow. And that's when they started to uh, immigrate or migrate here to the United States. But they all came through Ellis Island, yeah. and they all came in legally. Yeah. You know, there was amnesty so badly, that's when they started doing things in the neighborhood to earn money. You know? Sure. Mm. And, you know, they were... Uh, I, well, they, that, that's, that so makes, it's almost like this makes the sense. start. Yeah. So they fall, that's how it started here. That, that, that Pretty life. much, yeah. Because he was going to kill all of them and lock them all up in Sicily. It started yeah. there. So they started coming here. That's how it happened. So they, because because we we weren't we didn't know like we just didn't yeah. think that they got treated that badly. Yeah. So that's that's from from that came came this. Someone yes. said to me that uh, one of their I think it was father or grandfather uh, when the war broke out and it was America versus the Italians obviously because the Italians were on the other side. His father had to fight against his own hometown so fought in america yeah. he's italian yes and he, and he fought mm. against his own hometown yeah. in italy so we don't have we don't have that over in, in australia because we well our ancestors arrived in the 50s and 60s at yeah. the earliest the mm. latest earliest um whereas in in america Italians have been here since the eight late like late 1800s right yeah, oh, yeah. so we don't, we yeah. don't you guys are really part of the fabric here Yes. Whereas we're 
we're part of the fabric, fabric, but we've just become part of the fabric. And you take Americans right. out of uh, Italians out of America, and it's the history. Yeah, we have, we have a big population. Look at the, Italians, yeah. you know, we've got this book here, The Godfather. Like we were talking about it before, there's so much history of Italian Americans in 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 America, but in pop culture, in in what we watch, what we saw mm -hmm. from from Australia. You know, so you take that out of America. Yeah. And it's a yeah. big chunk. Well, you know, it's part of our history. Yeah. yeah. You know, and a lot of people, you know, you can't avoid it. I mean, we had such an impact here for, you know, at least almost 100 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, both politically, economically, and every other way. We were part of And hey, how many times did the CIA come to uh, Italians, Lucky Luciano, uh, you know, to help them in the war effort? Yeah. It was Luciano that helped them. Uh, so conquer I didn't know that until I, I watched a few of your podcasts yeah, and absolutely. find out they used to go so to Lucky Luciano to get information or help for, for the war. Yeah. Mm. It he the helped the war after. There was, there's more times of the CIA. There's more than that circumstance. Oh, uh, JFK. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to be talking to somebody shortly that I believe is very credible. I'm not going to release it all now. But I've always said this. The classified documents that the United States is holding about the Kennedy assassination, every 25 years they say they're going to release them because mm. that's the hit 25 years. Trump was going to do it too, and then all of a sudden they stop. And I've said this my entire life. I've heard it from people of substance in that life that have no reason to lie. You know, most of the time guys in that life don't want to admit that they killed anybody. They don't mm. want to admit that. But they've told me consistently that it was a mob hit. Mm. And I believe it from everybody I've heard it from. Those classified documents are being held because the United States would never want the world to know that a sitting president could have been assassinated by the mob. By the mob, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And now there's a fellow here that I'm going to be interviewing very shortly. I've been really doing research. I think he's very credible, mm -hmm. who knows the inside scoop. He, he knows one of the other shooters. Wow. And he's told the whole story. And he's dying, actually. So he says, Michael, before I die, I want to go on your podcast and tell him this. The shooter. Shoot. Well, no, the shooter. There's more than one shooter. He knows the shooter. He knows the shooter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and, and he's the, the guy. He's actually on his. And he was out. part of the CIA, so oh, he right. knows what happened. And if you, absolutely more than one shooter. Yeah. So it's, it's interesting yeah. that they don't release. They they get the 25 years and they go no, no, no we're not ready. Yet. Yeah, they're going to release it. Trump was going to release it, and then I think they pressured him, saying, "No, you you don't want to release this. Yeah. Why?" Why start something like that? Yeah. But eventually it'll come out, and I think uh, I think it will. They also came to us to uh, to assassinate Castro. That's wow. a fact. Really? Yeah, yeah. They went to uh, to guys and said we want to assassinate Castro. Didn't work. They were going to poison him. Didn't work. But they absolutely came to us. CIA.